which famous singer sucks at singing. Surprised no one has said Adam Levine. The guy sings like he's constantly being hit in the balls, while somehow also being unable to hit the high notes in his music well. There's also just this feeling you get off of his voice that he doesn't want to be there. It baffles me that he is somehow a judge on the voice when his isn't any good. Much like sports coaches, sometimes those that can't perform make better teachers. Ja Rule. He can't hold a tune to save his life. Where is Ja? In German, yes Rule. Katy Perry. Have you heard her live? Pretty awful. One of my most downvoted comments ever was about how she was a talentless hack that basically only made because she sold her sex appeal, which is fine. But the people defending her were, weird. They persistently called her one of the greatest vocalists ever. Maybe she's one of the best big OLATT vocalists but, yeah, not ever. No way is that true. Dolly Parton is the best big titted vocalist of all time. How is no one gonna say Billie Eilish I feel like she is just whispering in every song. I'm probably gonna get crucified. Look up any acoustic live performance of hers. I was skeptical of how she would sound live BC of her style but she thrives in that setting it turns out. Quick edit, all the good girls go to hell on the Howard Stern show is a good example. Britney Spears. Leave Britney alone. Did you know that that guy is now doing gay porn? Anthony Kiedis. Front singer of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Great on CDs, absolutely horrible in live concerts. Yep he can't sing in tune unless he's in studio with headset on. When Rolling Stone reviewed their first album they said, Anthony Kiedis couldn't carry a tune if you put it in a backpack and strapped it to him. Try searching Jason Derulo live. Like no hate, love the guy, but goddamn he needs some auto-tune. Jason Derulo. Jennifer Lopez. And she's one of the few that will actually admit she isn't a great singer, surprisingly. She does. But I remember her getting mad at Jamie Foxx for saying that she can't sing. Cardi B. As a singer she's one hell of a sexual predator but as a sexual predator she's not much of a singer. Sexual predator? I thought everyone was mad at her for drugging and robbing Johns. Since when did she assault anyone? Yoko Ono. Shudders. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Can't really tell anymore, thanks to autotune. You actually can tell when the autotune is working harder on pitchier singers. Well, I can hear that Halsey uses a lot of autotune, but still I can't really tell if her real life voice is all that bad. Bob Dylan. Amazing songwriting skills do not necessarily mean amazing vocal skills. I saw Bob Dylan perform at Firefly in 2017. I'm pretty sure he's been dead for decades and they just propped his corpse up on stage. I've seen him a couple times. I love Bob Dylan but he sounds like a horse that has smoked its entire life. Believe it or not, Bismarcky is not that great at singing. I am shocked. Shocked. Not that shocked. Terrible singer and yet I'd listen to him all day because he's just fun. Hash oh baby you oop. Ramona singer. I don't know about Ramona, but definitely Luan. Money can't buy you class, or enough auto-tune to make you sound good. Fergie. She rocked the national anthem a few years ago, fucked. I speak for all of Australia when I say meatloaf. Meatloaf fucked his voice. It used to be good but he wrecked it. He never got any training because he naturally had a powerful sound and was successful with it, so what needs fixing right? There are lots of articles by vocal coaches who use Meatloaf as the inducement to learn good technique. The 2015, AFL Grand Final he was the halftime show. He practically died on stage. Rihanna is god awful live. Look up some of her live performances. I was surprised because I didn't think she used that many modifiers in the studio. When I bartended in Atlanta, one of my regulars worked in the music biz. His job was to auto-tune everything to make it sound good. He told me that Rihanna needs everything fixed in post because she's so awful. He also said that all the Atlanta recording studios have top secret cookie recipes and some artists will not record in some studios because they don't like the cookies as much as other studios. 
He also also said they use the cookies to weed out interns. Like, if you you can't follow a simple recipe to make cookies then you're worthless. LOL. I would like to learn more about what this man said. Vince Neil, especially in the later Motley Crue years. If you see any of their concerts of the past 10 to 20 years, you can hardly understand what he is singing and he constantly needs to catch his breath. His voice didn't age well at all. Edit, here is an example of him trying to sing, Dr. Feel Good HTTPS colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash watch. V equals Lina Haikoe, to be fair the video seems to have some cuts. Vince could never sing, he just looked the part. I toured bands as a living and have been on a bill where the crew was the opener. He is out of shape and holds the microphone out to the crowd every other line he sings. Plus now he weighs about 275 pounds. Dr. Eat Good. Ozzy has always been terrible but fronted a terrific band. Paranoid is just some British guy yelling at a mic. It's the context. He was amazing for Black Sabbath, but I wouldn't like him in any other band. David Lee Roth. The Van Halen brothers refused to let him be their singer a couple of times because he couldn't sing in tune. Eddie Van Halen sat down at a piano and said sing this note and Dave just repeatedly failed. However, as Glass showed repeatedly, you can be a mediocre singer and still be a great frontman. He made the Van Halen brothers quit playing long noodly instrumentals and instead play short pop songs, and got them rock star haircuts, and persuaded them to not stand completely still but instead put on a visually interesting show. And it worked. Drake. Millie Vanilli, girl you know it's true. I'm surprised I didn't see Selena Gomez but um, yes, Selena Gomez. Her singing voice just sounds like her speaking voice. She has that Taylor Swift thing where sounds like just any random person who isn't a terrible singer and happens to have access to a recording studio. Don't forget Taylor Swift's dad is a rich stock Merrill Lynch broker, who moved her to Nashville then bought a piece of a music label to get her into the business. Shaggy. After last night's Little Mermaid fiasco I was cringing visibly, he was about as good a Sebastian we could have hoped for. Dunno, I saw a 15 year old in Bloomington, Minnesota, nail it two weeks ago. Claws down the best Sebastian I've ever seen, man. Ashley Simpson HTTPS colon slash slash youtube.be slash pxatolma. Don't forget the Orange Bowl performance. So awful. HTTPS colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash watch. V equals by 2CN3BG Isu. It also didn't help that the mix coming through her earbuds was messed up too. I've worked in news for 14 years and any time the reporter pulled out their earpiece that they were hearing the anchors on, it meant that they were hearing themselves too. I'm willing to bet someone in the control room messed up her mix slash minus and that she was hearing herself on a delay along with the instruments. Normally you're only supposed to hear the music from the band so you can keep beat. That doesn't excuse the fact that she is just plain awful low and that Epstein didn't kill himself. So many rappers in this thread. They're not singers and were not claiming to be. Rapping is a whole different beast. JLo. Girl can dance but her voice, no. First person on this list I've actually heard of. Op asked about famous singers. Kanye West. He can't hit a note to save his life. In his defense, he doesn't claim to have a good singing voice. He just doesn't care and will sing on a song anyway if he wants to. Madonna. Her Eurovision performance was a 100 times worse than the worst participating country lol. I actually have no idea what Madonna's real voice is like. You can listen to Like a Virgin and her voice is pretty high. Then you watch Who's That Girl and she has a few moments where she drops the fake voice and it's hella deep. You listen to the Who's That Girl album and she has a high voice again. You hear the same songs live and now she has a deep voice, but you can tell she can hit the high ones but just doesn't feel like it. Surprised I haven't seen it but Bon Jovi. His guitarist is the real star of the show, especially on Living on a Prayer with his vocal wah effects on his guitar the entire song. He's the one that actually belts the stronger notes. 
John is passable, has great tone and sings on key, but the guitarist is the real singer in the band, especially nowadays with how old he is. He may have been great in the 80s but even then it was probably still his guitarist doing the heavy lifting on vocals. Guitarist equals Richie Sambora.